You seeing this? Those are Crocs. My dad has Crocs now. And the, the that lid just there, the just left repellent there, like he's just leaving stuff just sitting out. I think he's got some kind of problem. I think those chickens are the problem. What's going on over here? I'm putting a light on. A light. Weren't you like just going on about how the chickens need more darkness to have a better, uh, this better is, life? This isn't for them. I'm gonna figure out how to get this on. Yeah, there it is. Oh, sweet. This is to keep raccoons away. It's a motion light. I see. And it's solar too, so, you know. Yeah, there's a, an awful lot of solar things around here. I might have to tilt this. I can't go back there for the camera. Huh. Oh no, this could get tilted down more. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. yeah that's yeah, that, that solar. What even is that panel on top for? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, the door. I have a uh, solar panel door. Right it's on. a solar door. Yeah. Let me go get my remote, show you how does it Does it works. detect the sun and just... Oh, there's no sun anymore. And then does it just drop or what? No, it charges the... It charges the batteries in there. I have a remote. I can open and close it with a remote or I can set it on a timer for it to open and close on its own. Well, you're well versed in how that thing works. I don't have to worry about this anymore. Matter of fact, I have it screwed into the thing, but I have to take this handle off of it. Uh, this makes life so much easier, Tom. Uh, you know, especially when I go on vacation, you're going to be able to just go from the window or maybe you have to step outside but it works all the way i tried it all the way from the door today and uh you can open and close it from you know in the morning you just open it up uh, hopefully by then they'll be trained enough that they go in on their own so you're just closing it and you don't have to chase them in uh-huh well dude <laughs> How much stuff you've done? How much you've been outside? It has been cold recently, and it's you've been outside. Out here. Yeah, and you've been outside more than I've ever seen you. Well, in the cold, yeah, but I have to get this stuff done. I just sprinkled some of that granulars around here to keep the raccoons away too. I don't know where it's at because it mixes in with the dirt. But it, uh, it's, uh, I think it's got pepper in it and some other stuff, so um, it keeps keeps. Uh, varmints away like raccoons and skunks and stuff. When's the last time we even saw any varmints around here? We have them around here and I, I don't need the girls to get their heads chewed off. They're in a 360 degree cage. Dude, you're... Oh, and also, one of these is ornery. I don't know which one it is. Been trying to dig its way out. See how I had to put stones down there? It was digging under. Are you and sure now, it wasn't just trying and now to... now it's right here. See, it's digging right there. Are you sure it's not just trying to, like, scratch for food? No, it's ornery. I could tell. No, it's not scratching I don't think these chickens not... have the capacity to pull off... What was the movie? Shawshank the Redemption? Escape? That. Yeah, I think they do. And there's one. They're it's chickens! Only... No, there's one that's more intelligent than the rest of them. They're velociraptors. There's one that's more intelligent than the rest. He's the leader. They're birds and their heads are like a tenth of the size of ours. The brains are even smaller. Lot smarter than you think they are, Tom. I could tell when I would come out, it was over here. Look at that water. I just cleaned that water out, but because he constantly digs necks around there, he puts it all back in there. And yet you say they're smarter? Because he's trying to make a great escape. Like what is the plan to catch you being like off guard and sprint out while you got the door open yeah, I think while you're is, cleaning the water? I think this might be too much of an angle here. Maybe just a little bit. I mean, I think it did like fall a little bit. So like it? a tightening thing on it? Do I have to tighten it? I don't know if I can get this screwdriver back there and tighten it. No, I can't. Well, wait a second. Is there like a way to hand tighten it? Yeah. There we go. There we go. That looks perfect. You know, I this guess this way, any raccoons come up, light comes on, and it freezes and then turns around and goes away. They don't like lights. Yeah, sure. <laughs> See? That, that chicken just said thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> they don't speak. 
Well, that's chicken like, language. Like, look, props on you for getting a hobby, but don't you think that maybe you're going a little excessive? Well, Tom, all, what I've invested in these chickens so far, not even monetarily, but, uh, you know, with myself, with time and everything, and, and I've raised them since they were little babes. So it's like, I don't want them to get eaten. Yet they're in unless a cage that you surrounded with rocks. by me in a pot. Understandable, but still, like, the, we already had enough security measures. You're going above and beyond. No, I don't think there's any such thing as getting... Dude, you uh, know how far you've lost it? You got Crocs. Wait a second. You but, got Crocs that after you said repeatedly you will never get them. It was your mother's idea. She, I, for some reason, I doubt that. It, it was. Um, I swear, it was your mother's idea. She said, because I got chicken poop on my sneakers. That's why my sneakers are sitting out by the back door. I got chicken crap all over the bottom of them because I had to chase the stupid nugget inside there. And right. I had chicken crap on there. And I said, this is ridiculous. I said, I'm, I'm ruining my sneakers. And then, so your mom said, why don't you just get Crocs? And I'm like, oh no, I can't do that. After all I've said and everything, she goes, just get them. It's just for the chickens. I said, okay. So I got them. <laughs> wow, you put up a lot of resistance. Well, it makes sense. I mean, they can sit outside, they can get washed off and everything. They're not like sneakers, so it makes sense for this. I mean, yeah, just... And thanks that, a lot for stuff. telling everybody else about it now. I was going to keep that As a nice As if it wasn't going to... You leave them right there next to the door. Somebody's going to see them eventually. Joe already, the back door. Joe already joked about it to me. Well, yeah, well, Joe, of course, because he knows that I said it to him. So, uh, yeah, so I figure... You know, at some point, uh, maybe later today or something like that, you can, uh, oh, that's a piece of pepper I have in there. Take a, take a, I can show you how I get them in there. I can't do it now because it's too early right now. But, uh, yeah, you know what, it's funny. Let me show you. Let me show you what I, I was doing earlier. I grabbed some grass. And they'll, they think it's like a really big treat. They think I'm dropping a worm into them. Uh-huh. What? I can get in there. Here it comes. Ready, girls? There it is. You get it. Run. It's just grass. <laughs> but they, they eat grass. Did you know that? I put a couple dandelions. I dandelion. guess I do now. I put some dandelions. Actually, the dandelion leaves were even funnier because they would take them and just take off with them. Huh. I don't see any dandelions right around here or else I'd show you. But don't you get a kick out of your sisters? Well, you, uh, in case in point, you're, oh. you're still calling them my sisters. Oh, anyway, so the, the door, when I did that, it didn't quite fit, so I had to cut a piece of wood and add it to it to make it the right dimensions for that but it's it's steel and it's uh it's way sturdier than that other cheap plywood door that I had uh -huh. it just it makes a lot more sense now Tom it's gonna be so easy for you I can even when we go on vacation I can even put it on a timer where it goes it opens automatically at 6 a.m. and then closes at you know, 10 p.m. or 9 p.m. I mean, the door is very, very convenient. Don't you get would me just wrong. have to come out here and make sure that they're in there and that they have plenty of water and food. That's it. Pretty easy. Don't you think? It's cold out here. It is. Well, I'll show you how I close that door later on, okay? Sure. And, and put the chickens in there. Yeah, he's definitely obsessed. What? I need some hot chocolate. Day like today, that would be pretty good. See? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it works. I have the whole that. thing and you just <laughs> left it sitting out. Huh? You just... Well, that's because I just did it not too long ago where I well, yeah, but What even is that lid over there anyway? Oh, that's where I put their snacks in and everything. And, uh... You just leave it in the middle of the lawn? Well, look at it. It's got bird poop all over it. So I just, I figure I'll leave it there. It's supposed to rain in a couple days, so I'll just let it get washed off. Is that okay with you? I mean, I guess. Jeez, everything's in production with you. 
Getting your new favorite shoes on, I see. Well, I have. <laughs> Did you just put that camera on them? I didn't want, and, and they were white. I wanted all black ones. They didn't have them. Hmm. Um, really? That's kind of surprising. Yeah. Um, I have to wear these in case I have to go inside. All right, so it's a little colder now, guys. Justify it all you want. Don't Thanks. know who you're justifying it to. Either me or you. Us or you, is what I'm trying to say. What are you talking about? I'm saying, who are you trying to justify it to? Yourself or us? What about it being cold out? No, about the Crocs. Oh. Look, get off the Crocs, all right? Look, so this is, this is what I do first, guys. I have to bring out my one remote. That's for the heater. You just keep that in your pocket all day? No, I just put it in my pocket. Uh, the heater is on, so I gotta turn it off. Cause it only, go, only supposedly goes on for like 12 hours or something like that. So turn it back on. So first thing I wanna do is get the food out of the bag. So I have to move this. And you see, Nugget always wants to come out. So I take the food out because I don't leave that in all night. That way critters don't get in there. As you can see, they like to poop in it too. Foul, foul. All right. So they are. So I put that on the side. This is this is what I do. So now I go on this side. You can go over there, Tom, and get it from there. Look, one of them already headed in. They know what's coming. So I put this side down. Okay, so one's in there, right? I have one back here. Are they all out still? Yep. Okay, so what's, once this goes down, they all freak out. All right, get in there. Get in there. <laughs> get in there. Get in there. All right, you gonna make me come in there? I'll come in there, I'll put you in there. This is what they do, they test me. I was hoping I didn't have to go in there. Oh, oh, now they're going in. Okay, so now I have this remote, and all I gotta do is push. Oh, that's the wrong button. Oh no, that's the right button. And there she is, she's closing. Red means closing, green means it's opening up. That makes sense. There it is. Now they're locked in for the night. Now the only thing I, now I gotta put these back. See how they, they did that on purpose just to make me move them, I think. Yeah. They're smarter than you think, Tom, that's what I was saying. All right, the only other thing I do now is right here, I have a string of Christmas lights on in there. So you put Christmas lights up for them? Yeah, I got them in there. You can see them right there on this. You gotta go to that angle and see them. Can you see them? You gotta go more in an angle. Ah, uh, I see the yellow one. Yeah. Just so they can have a little light at nighttime. I hear, when I come out early in the morning, I hear them singing jingle bells. And that's it. That's all I do to get them in now. It wasn't that bad. I don't have to go. Nine times out of ten, I don't have to go inside. It's always that one time. Yeah, as you can see, like three of them didn't want to go in. So I put this in the shed inside the bin inside there to keep it safe until tomorrow. They have food and water inside there. Um, just because I want to get them through these winter months and everything. They're still young. Well, guys, that's me taking care of the chickens. That's what you hear for a while. Can you hear them? Oh, they're quiet now. Just like that. You can peek at them. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, hey guys, what's up? Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's the one. Well guys, till next time, grab yourself something warm to drink because it's cold. We'll meet you at the lounge. All right, chicken man.